Welcome back to my channel. This is the coder here and today what I'm going to make is a digital watch. All right. Now in front of you you guys can see it's a digital watch, nothing that different, but what I'm going to make over here is this style of making it. All right. Why did I say style like that? Whatever. So um over here as you can see that it's like the the font is so cool. All right. Now making getting this kind of font over the internet like in Google fonts you won't find anything like this except for Orbitron alright but Orbitron does not look like the um, you know um, classic digital watch fonts alright um, and I wanted to get one of those alright and I did get one of those but then while I was finding one of those fonts I got this you'll be thinking like what do I mean what I mean is that this over here is not text okay guys it's actually pictures yeah these are not text these are pictures see this see that it's pictures so that's how it works but yeah it it actually gives a, um, it actually tells us the actual correct time not only the time but also the day date and also the meridian I mean it's anti meridian or post meridian that is a.m. or p.m. alright so it's right now over here 12 30 in the morning and um, yeah it's Monday and July 29 2019 and stuff like that alright but whatever this video I'm going to make this like how is this thing working alright you guys might be like oh wait you made pictures responsive how did you do that well I'm going to show it to you so hang in tight with me in this video and now let's get started and oh before I get started maximum of my viewers I have seen I've found that they are actually not subscribed to my channel I mean why come on please just go subscribe to my channel it's not that tough right it's so easy you, you just you just you just scroll out from the uh, full screen and then just subscribe and then press the bell icon if you want to alright because when you click on the bell icon you can get to learn to make some stuff this cool alright but whatever okay too much of um, promotion um, <laughs> let's move on alright so I've came on this site over here as you guys can see links down below alright over here I found really cool fonts alright as you can see see this okay now my plan was to make something with this font but when I came to this site I saw this alright and when I saw this I fell in love with it <laughs> so yeah that's why I used it uh, okay um, now suppose I enter time in this alright it's 0, 0, 0032 so it's 1232 if I enter 1232 this is what's going to show up it's automatically going to get um, updated alright and um, yeah see that 1232 over here see that 1232 over here okay now we are not going to use any kind of API over here so yeah guys you're lucky but whatever um, we are just going to continue making it now I, I actually also wanted to make something like with this font but you see instead of the cologne this whole useless website name is coming up and I don't want to show that to my viewers okay Th by the way guys this code is also available on my solo learn okay where it is actually working all right so yeah links down below just check it out it's really cool all right yeah thank you um let's continue now the best part about this thing is that you can actually set the size all right just like that it's that easy okay and not only set the size but also change the color all right just like that so suppose I want it to be blue or kind of purple it would just turn into that color it would just update itself it's gonna take some time but whatever yeah there it is so um, yeah you, you can make anything like like this um, on your computer system alright so suppose you use this font over here you can use it with a black background it would be looking awesome alright um, you might think that it won't be visible but guess what it's going to be visible I I, I you know I tell I'm telling you I, I forgot the term for it whatever so <laughs> this is the um, you know this is, this is where I got all my fonts from you just come on the site tap on one of the um, fonts that you are happy with alright like balls on the rampage font 
buttons on the rampage, whatever. So um yeah. <laughs> Over here you can find the font, alright? You can also not only find it but also download it by right clicking on it. Okay. And um yeah. This over here, um, well, I, since I'm not using an API, you know, this this site does not has an have an whatever. <laughs> this site uh, does not provide an API, so I had to actually, um, you know, type in different kind of um, letters that I wanted to print it out. Right, like zero one, and then I had to go zero two, and then I had to go zero three, and then. <laughs> just like that i uh, i kept on doing this and then kept on downloading um, not downloading the image copying the image address all right so yeah that's how i got all the numbers from all right and here is the background image actually it's not that high res um, image but whatever i liked it and i kind of blurred it out so that people don't get that it is actually not a high resolution image but whatever guys um this image over here okay you see that 12 is one whole image 3 is one single and 5 is one single so till now you can kind of guess that what's happening behind the scenes um there's like an array all right and according to the array um there's like um you know um, the source uh, links okay now according to the time like 3 it's 3 in the morning so according to the time we are getting this 3 from here all right, and we are getting this tree from here, and um, you know, displaying whatever is in the third position or the second position of the array. All right, so yeah, that's how it actually basically works. All right, and the best part is that for zero zero and twelve, you know, twelve would be coming uh, showing up. So yeah, you don't need to care about twenty four or format or something like that. And since there's AM, there won't be any confusion between, you know, morning and night time. So yeah. Without any further ado, let's start making this on VS Code. Let's just put this aside and put it here. Now over here is actually the JavaScript guys, okay. Um, JavaScript was kind of big, okay. Normally I don't write this big of code of a code in JavaScript, but you know, this time I had to write because there's a lot going on in here. Alright, it might look really simple, but actually there's a lot going on okay so whatever I'm just going to show you the links okay here I have like created so uh, created a small file containing all the links alright so suppose I select this one let's copy this so let's see this is 0 which means it's 12 1 2 3 alright let's see if it's 3 oh no it's 4 I probably selected this one I don't know but whatever okay this is how it works um, all the links are in um, proper sequence alright like this one this starts from 0 I guess 0 1 2 3 4 5 alright let's get this this should be 5 let's see if it is yep it is okay so this is actually how I made it I literally got each and every um, you know web address um, to make this video possible so yeah it was kind of a lot of work so yeah it would be really good if you consider subscribing to my channel alright so yeah please do and since we have like I have like a lot of subscribers now alright um, but I'm just going to keep it a secret alright and um, yeah I have a small goal alright of reaching 100 subscribers okay I'm not going to okay it's it's uh, my number of subscribers is actually below 100 all right you guys might not know that uh, I'm going to make it available on YouTube soon possible uh, as soon as possible but whatever I have like um, less than 100 subscribers and yeah if you subscribe to my channel then we would be touching 100 soon and if we touch 100 then I'm going to expose my subscriber does that even matter <laughs> whatever so yeah let's just begin with our um, video we began with a video like a thousand minutes ago <sighs> alright let's save all of this delete and delete okay so let's just get rid of this now we are gonna begin with whatever we are going to make 
so yeah I'm just going to write the basic HTML at first and instead of the title I'm going to write in yep I'm, I named this Digiwatch right it sounds like a Pokemon name <laughs> whatever now I'm going to make a container since it's a good practice and all that good stuff alright so yeah dot container and inside this would be our watch alright and um, since you saw like there were like three parts right there were three parts um, that is the hour, uh, the the hour one, and the minute tenth digit, and the seconds digit, and uh, not the seconds, the for once digit. All right. So yeah, there will be three image tags. All right, and these image tags won't have an SRC yet because we don't know um, when is the user going to open this um, clock. All right, but whatever. Let's just put in these three image tags and um, put some, you know some link into this so I'm just going to copy this from here and paste it right over here paste so uh, right now actually I'm going to design um, you know I'm just going to design the layout so I need the images to like act, uh, just imagine or think like how the layout is going to look like so I'm just going to give it any kind of absolute time and then I'm just going to save it and now when I refresh this see that we see the time immediately alright it's 0344 because I have not um, started off with JavaScript yet but as soon as I do you know it's going to get into life but whatever let's give it a link alright I'm going to give it a I'm going to link it with my um, um, CSS so yeah DW dot CSS and yeah then we need the script tag also which is the, the most important part you cannot forget about it DW dot JS alright now it's connected alright but uh, one more thing that I forgot that is the semicolon alright so I'm just going to make the semicolon over here see that we got the semicolon now I need to get the color from here so I forgot the color kind of disturbed it yeah it's kind of like that yeah it's kind of like that but whatever let's just copy the image address and we need the color in between these two so I'm just going to put an IMG over here and put this over here let's see yep it almost matches it's kind of deeper but still it matches okay now I'm going to begin with designing the layout alright and um, yeah before that I also need to put in some h4 tags for the date and stuff so yeah ID I'm going to name this date and um, I'm gonna put in like a really cool um, what it is July 29 2019 what July 29 comma two zero no with a space two zero one two zero one nine all right okay and below this would be another h4 tag which would be having um the meridian so yeah meridian and i'm going to type in am all right and again below this would be the day so yeah Let's type in id equals to meridian again oops not meridian it's going to be day and i'm gonna put in monday okay so yeah these are the basic stuff that we need for this and um, one more thing that is the background image so yeah i'm just going to name it img src whatever and um, i'm gonna get my background image which i closed in fortunately um, which one was that this one all right so let's get this image okay let's just copy it from here and paste it right here and yeah there we have the image okay so yeah now we can move on with making or designing our UI all right the, my favorite word to say on this channel okay now um, I'm just going to give these images an ID also so id bg this would be id equals to um oh come on plane 
please don't disturb okay this would be the minutes once digit <laughs> alright yeah I need to make it more easy to understand so yeah now minute tens digit alright and this would be seconds alright and this would be hours alright so yeah this is the um, part of the this is the this is what we are going to do in the JavaScript part and now the main part that is going to be the JavaScript part wait did I say JavaScript this is the main part oh I'm messing up alright so this is the main HTML part now we are going to move on with our JavaScript part alright now JavaScript is kind of tough so I'm going to do it um, first today alright and then I'm going to move on with CSS alright so yeah we are dot no actually I'm just not going to type in this I'm just going to type in some functions alright um, this one would be function set now there would be multiple functions to set the date the meridian the this alright the date the meridian the time the Monday or day okay and yeah so yeah there will be like four functions but whatever you know I just need to put a set function which would be calling all of the functions separately so I'm just going to put in set and then I'm gonna put in set r alright set r's and I'm going to um, make a function called set r's so function set r's oops set r's and yeah over here what we am we are going to do is um this digits padded I'm going to copy this whole thing from here copy and paste it right above everything so yeah it will be right over here paste it and now what would be happening is it would be working according to the array alright so suppose the time okay um, what I'm going to do is um, document dot query selector okay now I'm going to write in a code in here so I'm just going to bring the HTML right over here so that it's visible for us and you also guys I mean the ID names and stuff okay because I have a problem of forgetting all these IDs and stuff so it's going to be ours hashtag ours alright dot inner no it won't be inner HTML guys it will be SRC okay since we are actually changing the image format and now it's going um, the all the padded images that is like 0 3 0 4 alright and when it comes to two digits it would all automatically become 1 0 1 1 1 2 alright so that's why I'm going to use digits padded alright so yeah digits padded and inside this I'm going to get the time or the hours alright so new date dot get hours oops get hours okay and when I put it in here it should work so I just need to call the function set see that it automatically changes to 12 okay and now I need to design this one now this one is kind of similar too so I'm just going to type in function and set minutes alright and this is going to be the first digit alright so yeah set minutes one or yeah tens the tens digit so yeah tens and I'm just going to copy this whole line alright copy this and paste it right over here okay let's give it a semicolon and um, yeah, come on okay now inside this I'm going to write in a piece of code document dot get element by ID and uh, what did I name it min tense dig alright min tense dig alright is that what it is yeah dot src equals to now this time we need only single digits so yeah it's going to be um, digits unpadded alright so yeah digits unpadded so now you actually kind of have an idea like how this thing is going to work 
right so yeah um, inside this I'm going to get um, the minutes so yeah let's just type in minutes but the problem now is that you know there's nothing uh, there's like no number yet in tens day and once then why did this this one disappear but I guess it was once Tens digit min tens digit okay <clears throat> all right so what is happening over here is that minutes you see it's like 50 all right the minute is 50 and there's not I mean it's like area out of bounds all right it's it's just 0 to 9 all right so yeah it's it, there's an error if you open the um, compiler or the co co console you see there's an error over here all right that is um, that is this oh yeah okay I'm going to explain it so if you see it properly then it's saying that it uh, it failed to load resource the server did not respond okay it, it responded with a status of 404 because there's nothing at the array um, you know 50 there's nothing see because there's you get it all right it's the, the length of the array is 10 and I'm asking for something which is in the index number 50 array out of bounds so yeah what I need to do is get the first or the tenth digit all right and since this is going to be two um, two digits only always so what I'm going to do is just divide it by 10 to get the tenth digit all right so yeah so I'm going to just put in divide by 10 still now it says that it did not get it all right um, it says undefined all right let's just see what's the problem over here digits unpadded and then the okay so what I'm going to do now is um, let's see what we can do now actually this is the image all right and um, which image are we editing let's just see that so I'm just going to copy uh, okay I'm just going to put in some absurd value over here like three or four to check which number are we getting four five all right let's put in this again and let's see what's the problem so do we, do, on dividing it by 10 it's not working okay all right I'm now panicking like why is it not working let's just see like the reason <coughs> new date dot get minutes divided by 10 actually you know what um, since it's 52 I'm going to divide it by let's see what happens if we do a mod see that it's getting mod but not division so I'm just going to try it again all right now this is going it, this is not going to work since the value that this is returning is like 5.2 okay now this is not going to work because there's no index called 5.2 it always has to be an integer it cannot be a decimal so yeah we just need to um, math dot floor this thing so yeah let's just copy this whole line put it into brackets and put in math dot flow all right and now it would be working see that so yeah this was actually a honest problem or honest mistake that I just you know um, yeah, I just solved an honest mistake all right normally I make mistakes on this channel um, purposely so that you guys can understand but this time it was an honest mistake all right let's put in these okay now we are going to set the once digit that is this one over here and um, to set this one it's um, very similar we are just going to get this copy this and paste it right over here and instead of with this min tense whatever I'm just going to put in once over here right so once and this is going to become instead of divided by 10 this is going to become mod 10 alright and I'm just going to copy this whole line okay and copy it and um, paste it right over here in the function called set see see that it's 1254 actually so it don't, did not change yet now we need to call this function every 
millisecond all right so that it keeps updating because now if this thing becomes um 1255 this thing won't update all right uh, since the call uh, function was called only once so to do that i'm going to put in set interval and just put in the function name that was set comma one all right so now it would always be updated every second all right so just let's wait until this becomes 1255 yeah all right let's wait uh, um, until that time you can just like this video put in a comment down below and also subscribe to my channel so yeah there's just five seconds left four three two one all right so now it updated you guys saw it updating um, now we are going to do is update this time all right now this thing is also pretty similar okay so yeah let's just do it as soon as possible and um, to update time I'm going to put in set date oops oops set date all right okay what happened set date all right and now I'm going to put in set date over here function set date okay now again document dot get element by id and this time it would be date so date dot inner html since this is not going to be an image right inner html and then i'm going to put in um, or oh, in here that is first the month name all right so to do this i'm going to need another array that is array months all right i'm just going to put in the month's name over here jan then february then march all right this is going to take time so i'm just going to pause the video all right so over here i have put in um all the you know month's name so now when i save it okay nothing's going to happen pretty air just stopped working you see that i don't know why pretty is not working right now let's see what's the problem all right whatever i don't get the problem <laughs> so yeah let's just move on with the video so i'm just going to put in months over here and the first thing that i'm going to do is put in the name all right so um i'm going to get the month so a new date dot get month let's see yeah we do have that function see that june which means it's july of course so now we are going to put in this and then beside that we are going to put in a space like that and we are going to put in like which month it is um, which day it is like 29th of July so yeah July 29 I'm gonna put it in also um, so for that what I'm going to do is um, put in simply new date dot get date alright so when you put it in you see this July 29th and then I'm gonna put in a comma over here and a space alright and then I'm going to get the new date the year alright so don't get full year and then close this function see that it's July 29 2019 and then I'm going to set this also okay now you guys might have not noticed this that is suppose um, right now it's like in the morning it's like zero zero it's zero zero in the morning but when it gets afternoon or evening it would be more than 12 all right so um, then again the same error would be occurring that is array out of bounds so to prevent that I'm going to put an if else statement that is if new date okay new date dot get hours that is what is the hour time all right get hours is smaller than 12 then it's going to do nothing okay that is the regular one that is right now how it is working and then I'm going to put in an else statement with something um, similar but this time I'm going to subtract get hours by 12 so that um, since this new date dot get hours returns back value in 24 hours format so when it's like 23 which is 11 in the mid uh, 11 in the uh, evening um, it would be sin uh, easily subtracting 23 by 12 and yeah we would be getting like the time all right so it's actually going to be 22 all right so yeah 22 minus 12 is 
11. Now, how much it is? 10. Oh, I'm so bad at maths. Okay, 22 minus 12 is il, um, 10. So, yeah, it would be looking for 10 over here. Or, wait, sorry, I'm, I'm so sorry. It's It actually returns back in normal. It starts in 1. So, yeah, it's going to return back 23. Okay, so 23 minus 12 is 11. And, yeah, it would be 11 over here, which is probably this one. Okay, so let's see if it's 11 or not. If it is 11, then we would know that our code would be working. If it's not, then it's a shame for me. Yep, it's a shame for me. So, uh, oh wait, I, I copied this link. This is actually going to be 11. Alright. Yeah. This is so embarrassing. Okay. Okay. Let's see. So, actually, I set 12 as the 0th position. Okay, and 11 as the last position. So, yeah. If it's 20, that means new date is actually going to return back value in the same value it does. Alright, that is, it's going to be returning 20, that is, um, what was that? Uh, tw tw 23 minus 12 is 11. Alright, and if you see it like this, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So it's this link. Alright, let's see. I hope it is the 11 yeah it is oh my god okay so i hope you guys understand this there's so many honest mistakes today i don't know why but whatever this is how it works okay i hope you guys actually are getting it if you don't get it then just write the write your questions down below in the comments and sorry for my darn english i'm actually taking english speech classes so that i can improve my english speech but I don't think it's giving, doing any kind of effect or something like that whatever um, now we are going to update the um, this the meridian All right. so to update meridian I'm going to just put in document dot query so, okay not query let's just yeah get element by id and then put in meridian here okay meridian dot inner html now when it is more than 12 it will be equals to a m Oops, A M, and when it is okay, not A M like that. It's going to be this A M. It's going to be A M, and when it is smaller than twelve, it's going to be P M. Let's just yeah. Um, it's going to be P M. Let's just put it in here. Now, since prettier is actually not working, I need to align it myself. Yeah. So it's going to be P M when it is more than twelve. Alright, so now we have, um, you know, d deal with this AM problem also, and now we are going to move on with um, setting the day, alright, so yeah, for that I'm going to go back to the, you know, this function and put in set day, and um, yep, let's go to the, the below of the code and put in function again function set day all right now i'm just going to um, make an array of days okay which would be having each and every day like monday and then tuesday okay so i'm just going to put in the, these as soon as possible and yeah until then i can just pause the video which i won't because i have almost completed it thursday and then friday and then saturday all right and remember guys always the week starts with a sunday yeah so yeah i'm just going to put in sunday in the beginning and um, put it under quotes let's save it Okay, prettier again starts working. I don't know how, but whatever, it's good. That prettier is working. And now I'm going to put in. Why did it become like this? Okay, function set. Okay, this is date. Wait, I just edited months. Did I just edit months? Wait, wait, what? I was literally editing. I thought I was editing this days 
Oh, I did. I, I kind of got, got confused. Alright, but whatever. Oh my god, this is so confusing. Pretty kind of confuses me. But whatever. Okay, so this is go going to have all this. And now inside this, I'm going to put in document dot get element by id and then inside this will be day dot inner issue now it's really easy i'm just going to put in equals to and inside this it will be new date and then i'm going to all right get day and then just like that see that it's showing one right now i'm going to put this inside array square brackets and um i'm going to put in days over here all right yep now it's monday again so that means it's working properly and now we can move on to our css file now i hope you guys got the main part that is the javascript part okay the css part is not that important what i did want to show you guys was the javascript part like how this was actually working and i hope it's clear to you okay i hope if even if my english is not that good but whatever you guys get like what i tried to teach you guys okay so yeah everything's done now and now we can move on with the designing of our project all right so to do that what i'm going to do is simply design the body first okay give it a background color like background color it would be always black remember okay um yeah keeping it black is like the safest way because when you put in an image as the background you know you always have to be careful with the it's going to be blurred out so yeah you need to keep it like that all right i'm going to put in height 100 percent and then width again oops width again 100 percent oh my god 100 percent and um now i'm going to center it so yeah margin auto 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 t0 r0 l0 b0 all right so it's centered properly and just i'm going to move the thing behind so yeah we're going to need z index minus one and yeah everything's behind everything okay and now i'm going to get this color so that i can set the color of each and every text all right um yeah uh, and before that I'm just going to blur make this blurry um, so yeah filter blur um, I'm going to make it 35 px uh, that, that, that's too much blurred out I'm going to make it 25 px or 15 px Oops, 15 px yeah it's cool now I'm going to design the container that is our main thing okay to lay out everything properly so position would be high absolute again height would be all right wait this is going to be outside the container all right because it's going to be our background so yeah let's save it here like that and yeah this height it's going to be i'm just going to name give it uh, 150 pd uh, you know just just it, it does not matter since it's going to contain really small stuff inside it so yeah margin will be again auto and all this same stuff okay till here actually copy paste all right and now i'm going to justify content to center and align items to center all right and yeah to make it work i'm just going to make display as flex Alright, you know what? I'm just not going to do this. Okay, I can just center it like this. Alright, now the next thing that I'm going to do is design the other stuff that is like the date. Alright, so yeah, hashtag, hashtag date. I'm going to put in position absolute. Let's see what happens. Alright, it comes up, but I'm just going to make position relative right now. Okay, so that let's see if it stays in its position or not. Oops. Alright, I'm just going to put it in here. Like that. And yeah, it does stay in its position. 
So yeah, I'm going to put the uh, put position right here in here in this and make the left zero. Let's see what happens. Nothing happens actually because you know nothing should happen. Now let's make it fifty percent and yeah, thirty percent, twenty percent. Let's do it until we can center it properly. Yeah, eighteen percent. Now I'm going to give it a font family. Alright, and yep, you guessed it, it's going to be Apple system and stuff. And um, the color, I'm going to set it right now. Um, let's just, you know, get this color. Um, to get this color, what I'm going to do is go to the elements over here, get lost, take this, and then, oops, I need to stop, close this. Okay. Let's do it again. It's going to be this color. I'm going to bring it in the middle and copy this thing and put it over here. All right. Okay. Now let's close this. See that? So now it's centered. Now we need to center each and everything like that. So, um, what I'm going to do is simply copy this everything, alright, and paste it right. Oh no, actually I can do one thing that is delete all this stuff, and simply just put in hashtag um, day over here, and hashtag meridian over here. Okay, see that it automatically gets centered. Um, not that much though, but still you know we get it hashtag day it needs to be centered a little bit more so yeah I'm just going to move it a little bit more left it will be like 19% okay 21% oh wait that thing is not so it's 24% 24% it's so hard when it like justify content and the stuff are not centered so I'm just going to choose the hard way yeah just like in other videos I do display flex justify content center center align items align items come on this code you need to guess what I'm thinking <laughs> Now I'm going to design it again. Hashtag date, position absolute, and top zero, and um, you know the color, whatever it was. Let's get it again. Oh no, plane! Please get lost. Planes disturb a lot. family apple system whatever and then I need to center this stuff down over here all right this stuff down over here hashtag image that is like ours ours is going to also have position as absolute and um, okay left would be 10 px Okay, let's just do this and then hashtag what it is seconds. Seconds would be again position absolute, it's going to just be in the middle, and then the other stuff that is this min tens deg and min ones deg would be I'm just going to do that. min tens dig position absolute right 5px and um, the other one segment once digit it would be right 10px okay this would be 5px and this would be 10px and yeah position absolute Okay, 
this will be 5 peaks and that will be 10 peaks. This is kind of confusing. Um, not that difference though, but you know, let's just move this, try to move this apart. Um, 30 peaks. by like 57 or something like that yep it's good so yeah it's almost centered properly and now I'm just going to copy this whatever is in this like that copy it and put it in hashtag meridian paste it just like that and then top zero would be 50% or more than that I'm just going to make it 60 and again hashtag day it would be again the same I'm just going to change this to like 70% and this to 55 58 and yeah it's almost done guys ours let's send this let's bring this a little bit down 10 px I meant yeah and there it is guys see that there is a clock but one thing that I forgot to do that is this one it should blink now I'm not going to put it like actual second and stuff like that alright um, I'm just you can actually do that alright so I'm just going to make the second stuff or else you can just animate it so yeah um, show hide seconds alright now this function is going to be really simple hide second it's going to be really simple that is it's going to simply remove um, seconds document dot get element ID um, that is going to be seconds dot style dot opacity it will make it opaque and um, you know transparent time by time opacity and then I'm going to put in Okay, is it style dot No, it's actually it's an auto opacity. It's going to be filter. All right, and inside this, it's going to be opacity. Opacity is going to be zero over here. And let's copy this thing and put in an if statement. If new date dot get seconds mod two is equals to equals to zero then it's going to be visible or else it's going to be invisible alright so yeah I'm just going to copy this thing copy 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 paste and make this simply one alright and now um, let's see is it really new dig seconds yep it is seconds new date dot get seconds this is going to be bracket over here see now it blinks alright now to make this really smooth what I'm going to do is simply add transition over here so yeah transition it will be like 0.5 second or something like that and there we have it see that it's the working clock now it was really easy for me to uh, it was really easy to make it's just that the time limit kind of increased a little bit because of my speech but whatever in the future videos it's going to improve a lot and um, until then this is the English that you have to um, listen to to learn or attend this tutorials or whatever but you know this is going to be it I hope you guys 
liked my video and um, I really really wish if you I mean I would really appreciate if you would actually subscribe to my channel that would be awesome and yeah there we see and um, something that we don't want so I'm just going to remove this from I'll remove it a little bit now to remove it I'm just going to change the CSS a bit seconds Five, fifty-three, fifty-two, fifty-one. All right, forty-nine, forty-nine. Okay, let's move everything away. Forty-five, forty-four, forty-four. Yep, I'm just going to put it till here. Yeah, so now, now this is ready, guys. Alright, so yeah, I hope you guys liked it. It was really uh, pretty easy to make it. Um, yeah, it took kind of an hour, but in real life it took like just 10 minutes. But whatever, you know, this is how we created um, a really cool digital watch with a really cool font. And um, yeah, it kind of took a little bit much long time because, um, you know, I just want to um, make sure that you guys, um, you know, understand everything. And since I have a really bad English vocabulary, so I cannot like explain everything properly. Um, you know, every coder has some problems like that. But whatever, you know, these are all the Indian problems. But I hope you guys like this video. Um, in my future videos, I'm going to try to speak in English more better. Um, but until then, this is the English that you have to hear to learn these kind of cool stuff. All right. So yeah, I hope you also think that this video was cool, okay? I would be really happy to see you guys making something like with with um, this font or some other font or just some other font. It would be so cool, alright? Let's just see how it looks like with some other font. See that? It looks so cool with other fonts. I would be really happy if you guys also try it out, alright? And if you are going to make something like this, okay, you can just find all the links and, um, you know, the whole source code down below. Not the whole source code, the link to the source code down below. Um, it's available on Solo Learn, um, all in running condition. And yeah, I hope you guys like this video. Do leave a like down below and also subscribe to my channel because I will be posting more cool stuff. And yeah, I'm thinking to start off with Python bots and stuff, but... Before that, I'm just going to think. You know, I'm just thinking to like release Python tutorials because they are easy to learn. All right, and Python is really easy. And yeah, many of my friends actually told me, asked me to make some videos on Python. So yeah, I'm just going to make tutorials on Python so that it becomes easy for you guys to learn also and easy for my friends also to learn. And yeah, until then. I'm just going to bid a goodbye to you. So yeah, see you soon in my next videos. Um, also comment down below what to make next. Okay, because I'm running out of ideas, but whatever. I hope you guys like my video. Again, all the good stuff, do all the good stuff. I'm repeatedly saying it because, you know, I'm thinking of moving on with this career of YouTuber, but whatever. I hope you guys like this video. And yeah. Do subscribe <laughs> okay thanks for watching peace